Hey, it's Derek. We're at Atrium 916 in Sacramento where they're doing incredible things. Not only are they making masks for frontline medical workers, they're doing much more. So come on in and let's find out what's happening. We're here with Shira, who is the executive director and founder at uh, Atrium in Sacramento, Atrium 916. And there's a lot of very incredible things happening in this building. You see, it's not just about making masks, which we're going to see later on in the video. There's plenty more happening. Give us a general idea of why Atrium exists and what exactly is going on in the building. So Atrium 916 really started because it was what the community wanted. Um, a lot of people came to me and just said, hey, we'd love to have a, like a community place that we can create art and connect together. So we started doing that. It was just more of their ideas, whoever came in. And I really worked with people, whoever's nice. If you're nice, we'll work with you. <laughs> if you're not, I don't know. I don't it's a good know. philosophy to follow. We just had so many wonderful creatives come in. And the, the goal was you have to be creative and you have to care about the environment and social justice, like to do good. Um, and so we, right now we do a lot of art projects, do a lot of art installations, market, and now we have a mask marketplace. So Which is in high demand, the masks are a big deal. I mean, it, it, what they're doing with masks here is pretty amazing. But what's really cool in my basic understanding is that creatives, creative people, artists getting together to express themselves and to contribute in some way uh, for the sake of the community and to take care of themselves and their families and things like that. A hundred percent. And the goal is to really, we're kind of like this incubator for creatives, uh, independent creatives. We want to help creatives build companies that are creative companies. We do that by mentoring. We have open office hours. We do mentorship. We help people with grants if they're applying for grants. Um, we also have our own projects that we are working on. And then we have the mask marketplace. So when COVID hit, a lot of people were looking for masks. Sure. So we were thinking, what if we could make a way that the creatives can get paid and they can use that money either to pay their own bills or to use that to buy supplies to be able to give more masks. To perhaps out. make more masks. They're focusing on frontline medical workers and also uh, the elderly, the people in yes. need of the masks. And they're doing a Incredible job. We just saw a sneak peek. Come with us and we're going to go check it out and see what they're doing at So Women's Mass. We hope we're not interrupting your day. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so fun. Okay, so here we are in the belly of the beast of the mask making. All these creatives here doing wonderful things for the community. We're here with Sheila and Kip. And first and foremost, Kip is going to show me how to put on the mask properly. Kip. So, so when you put on your mask, you want to pull the straps back so it pulls it into your face okay. and then wraps it nicely around your ears. Okay. So you don't want your ears down, but you want the mask to be a little bit tight. Okay. And then Pinch push your contour the down over your nose okay. to close the gaps and then just Smooth it sweep out. it back. And then you've got this perfect fit. I did not know that there was a process to putting on a mask, but now I know. So the amazing things that are happening here at Atrium 916, the, one of the most important things right now is the fact that you guys are making masks for people in need. Tell us about what's been going on in your lives in the last few months. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, after, Sacramento right? Costumers is a cooperative of creatives that whose meeting point seems to be sewing or a love for fabrics and textiles. And so we work together as a cooperative. We work together on the larger um, jobs uh, like the opera. We do costumes for the Sacramento Opera. Other part is the educational component where people come in and can learn and hone their skills so that they can get where they want and get to the next step. And individually, we all work on our own creative avenues to build up your brand or whatever it is you want to do, just become better at your sewing or, or build a business. But you're also accepting donations. Mm -hmm. Fabric, sure. and when you purchase, I think you, you heard from Shira, when you make mm -hmm. a purchase with us, um, some of that goes right back in. Well, a lot of it goes right back in. Because sure, we are sure. providing to seniors and the homeless, um, need special care. For schools, hospitals, uh, everybody. Everybody. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Uh, thank you for what you do. I wanted to personally thank you, uh, thank for, you. for what you're doing because this is some of the most essential work right now. Mm -hmm. You guys are thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for everything you're yeah. doing. Sure. Keep up the wonderful work. Thanks for watching Instagood on now 100.5. And remember, with Brooke and Jeffrey's Space Mask Fashion Show, you can get a mask from here, take a picture of it, upload it to now100fm.com, and you can win an overnight stay at the Kempton Sawyer Hotel, plus a lot more. Thanks again, JustServe.org. Hope you watch again soon.